So we're heading to the Corner Ridge Trailhead. We just dropped Joseph's car off at Natural Ridge, where we're gonna hike to. Well, we got total mileage for the, all this thing that we're doing, guys. What do you? Uh, I think it's think? around 17. 17. Well, that's doable. And we got a little fog this morning and a little dark and a little wet. Should be fun. Should be. Should be epic. Will be. Say, say it's going to be epic. Will be fun. Say epic. 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 <laughs> Good morning. <coughs> How you guys doing this morning? <coughs> All right, we're hitting the trail here at Corner Ridge. And this is what it looks like this morning. It's about 730. We're going through the Clifty Wilderness, and it's gonna be yucky soggy. I can feel it already. But it's gonna be a good day. Shelltoe Trace Corner Ridge Trailhead. We're covering all that ground today. And this is where we start. So, um, the trail so far from Corner Ridge has been exceptional. Uh, not a ton of elevation gain, a tad. Uh, of course, it's real muddy and yucky being the end of October and it's been raining. Uh, but it's just beautiful leaves changing. Um, it's, it's just a wonderful morning here to be able to hike in because it's in the 50s just very comfortable um the only thing that you may want to note if there's somebody watching this just in, as far as intel and i don't think i've read this or seen this anywhere there's no blazes on the trail we've been two miles in no turtles uh but uh, tim and joseph do have um the trail on their phones i do too but they, they pulled it up and they they're showing me with the gps we're still we're still on it and i think joseph's got all trails i don't know what tim has so that's a bit of concern it's kind of like yeah we're on the trail but uh because gps tells us that but looking all around and on the trees there's no turtle marks no no blazes so anyway, there you go. We're definitely in the Clifty Wilderness, going, moving in toward the gorge eventually. <laughs> and, uh, and you can just tell all the rock features and just uh, beautiful scenery along the way. There you go. Okay, so, so we come down this trail, 2.7 miles, and this is actually the first turtle aside from what we saw at the beginning. So, if anybody's watching this video for intel, just know that. And this is the trail we're going to hit now? Or, or are we going that trail? Oh, okay. Cool. This is a beautiful pool of water through here. I love this. Woohoo! What do you think, Tim? It's a special spot. I love this. It's SS. Special spot. SS. Look how clear the water is. I love it. It's not normally that way. I do not see any fish in there. Or is it? I don't know. So these on this section of the trail are few and far between. You'll see a lot more of these, but not that. There's some over here. They're everywhere. <laughs> well, maybe we need to go that way. Yeah. That's okay. Well, let's go this way. Why? Stop too long. You don't get very far. <laughs> so we've done five miles already, and we're going to hit five more to the Red River. That way where Tim's going. Been a good trail, hasn't it, Justin? Yep. Good morning. Just a little sprinkle along one the thing, way. One thing that would have made it better. Go time! Nobody followed me. Go time! Go time! 
stuff, bro. Yeah, I love this. You, sometimes you see it from a distance with water on it looks kind of um, like snow. <laughs> Very cool. So that may be a way to get up there, but you can see up above us, Indian staircase is up there somewhere. Cloud splitter, we're hugging below it. And we're not gonna go up there today, even though that would be a, a pretty cool view. We're gonna stay on the trail. So this is our lunch spot. We're sitting by a big, big rock here by the trail. Good level spot. Joseph is MIA. Where are you at? There he is. P PBJ. And Tim brought Slim Jim, beef, and cheese. What he says is wonderful. It's a hard but fantastic trail through here. And there's a little bit of a payoff right up here, Joseph. We got us an arch right up there. And you can see across the way, just a beautiful day. Yeah, the little sun come out. That staircase, even though it's well-placed and appreciative, of the being there, it still was tough. But we get to see this as our payoff, and Tim, Indian Arch, right? Must be. Must be. All right, so we're coming up on 7.15. Not time, but road. Feels like we've been hiking for 24 hours. Started about 7.45 this morning. And right now, what time is it, guys? Go time. Hey, go time. What? So there you go. It's taken us, what, a little about 10 miles-ish to this point. And there you go. So we made it to the suspension bridge at the Red River Gorge, and Tim's over here ready for a picture that I asked him to take. Photo op time. This is just like a really cool bridge. Yeah, it is. I love falls. this thing. Till it falls while we're on it, then it's not so cool. Oh, you doomsayer. You're sounding like me. Don't let those fall in the river. You're sounding like me. You sure you want to do that? Yeah, they're good. It's a beautiful fall day here. I've probably said that several times already doing the video, but end of October, Halloween weekend. We're out here crossing the Red River. There she be. The iconic suspension bridge. Trails going along the the Red River, and I don't know if that is jump off rock, or you know, the jump off rock, but it is a jump off rock. And look at, look at the pool of water. Ah, that looks pretty fun if I was 20. <laughs> Even at 20, I've been a scaredy cat to jump into that. That is pretty cool though. I guess to get over there, you'd have to cross that tree. <laughs> Oh man, that's a long haul to get out of the water and come back and do it again. But that is pretty, pretty cool. Following the trail, we're looking for a campsite tonight. We were going to stay back there, kind of close to Cloud Splitter area, uh, but we're pushing on the miles a little bit more so we can have a, a shorter day tomorrow. We're at 10 miles now, a little over.
scared of my water. So this is going to be my home for the night. Uh, you should have seen it before Tim fixed it up because this is Tim's tent and I didn't know what I was doing, which is kind of typical, but he fixed me up. We've got a pretty good campsite, soft ground. Joseph's back that way hanging on a tree <laughs> with a hammock. And Tim's a little farther back. Tim has put together these uh, meals for us. And uh, we've got a rice mixture with, uh, you said evaporated milk, right? And we got some Powder. brats, powdered milk. And uh, we've got some cheese to go in there as well. And we're boiling two cups of water for this mixture. And we're going to put it in that little pot down there. Joseph's got a nice big pot for his. And uh, Tim's going to do his in the bag there. There's the finished product. This thing's only big enough to hold half of it. But when you mix it all together, it is yum. And after, after that, we get what Tim's eating right now. Where's my Snickers? Oh, give me a one back. Oh, there it is. Let me have mine. I licked it. So it's 7.30. We've just eaten our dinner. I've gotten in dry clothes and I'm ready for bed. I know you can't see me because it's dark, but uh, Tim's hooked me up once again. Oh, there you are. The tent that you saw earlier. I've got a thermo rest that I'm laying on and in a quilt over me. And I got a lot of clothes too. I don't know why today was particularly exhausting but it was we did probably about 13 miles and the last hike I did I did without a backpack just kind of did a day pack and today I had probably about 20 pound ish full pack with all the stuff and so that was the deal right there anyway Hopefully I'll sleep well tonight. Looking forward to it. Good night. So this is what it looks like at 6.30 in the morning in the rain to try to get yourself together. It's not an easy thing. <laughs> and it's one of those things that you go, okay, why am I doing this now? <laughs> oh, gosh. I had a tent. Uh, Joseph's got the uh, hammock set up. Which is, which is a better deal, better setup, I think. And uh, you could tell he didn't bring his headlamp. He's using his phone this morning. <laughs> oh, gosh. So we got about five miles, a little over five miles to get to the car over at Natural Ridge. And uh, don't know if I'll do a whole lot of video in this morning since it's raining. I do a end cap at the end end of the video we're going to hopefully get some breakfast at the lodge over there at the the resort park so i'm going to watch joseph finish up <laughs> because not a whole lot i can do to help at this point he knows what he's doing and that's kind of how this is when you go camping you kind of know your stuff and uh and you want to help each other and you can there's some things that you can do to help I'm not saying that but uh it's probably best just to shine the light for my friend. Talk to you later. It's been not much to see this morning. We're hiking in the dark with headlamps. And we're on the Tunnel Ridge Road, fixing across the mountain parkway. 
And there's Tim. He's always chipper. Good morning, everyone. Oh, gosh. What do you think about this hike so far here? Awesome. This morning. Love the night hike stuff. The night Love hike. It. We haven't done a whole lot of that. We'll start out early. Uh, and it's a little darky, but it was dark, dark this morning. But Joseph's back there. We're surviving. We just know that there's a payoff over here for breakfast, and so we got to move fast before they close. It's a beautiful trail on this uh, Winton, whatever trail. It's got a waterfall. There's an arch off the trail back in here, a little farther down. Streams that run through here. It's just a lovely, lovely place to, you know, it's two miles from 15, Highway 15 to Natural Bridge. And uh, just a delightful place. I, I probably said delightful a lot in this, these snippets of videos. Sorry about that. Uh, it's an excellent trail. So at the end of this section, you go through Witten, Wittenton, Wittenberg, whatever campground, and it's paved up to 11 where we've stashed Joseph's car. And just through the trees, there's the lodge where we're shooting for, getting there before 10 o'clock. It's 9.20 right now. 10 o'clock, they close breakfast off. And they're closed for an hour until 11, where they start serving lunch, which is kind of odd, but whatever. Anyway, rain's let up a little bit. Didn't see any black bear, thankfully. I have my food and my um, backpack sitting near my tent, or I'm just on the outside of it under a cover. <laughs> I am no hiking guru. If you're watching these videos, there's very little advice I would take from me. <laughs> Tim or Joseph up there, if they throw something in and you hear an idea, pro tip, whatever, take it. I, they know what they're doing more than I do. Parking lots up there past the road. I'm going to sign off here until we do kind of a, a statistical analysis whatever as we're eating we'll we'll do a final video well we went up to the lodge who are you but talking to the, the camera right here the phone <laughs> my iphone 11. it's awkward uh, yeah well that's okay <laughs> what's awkward is you drinking a cold drink uh -huh. after a hot drink Why this is, is what awkward? you should have left in you not 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 this is empty. Yeah. And that's full of I got of that cold. for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Anyway, we're over here at the Daniel Boone Coffee Shop. We we went to the lodge, but the lodge was... It was open, but it was carry out only. So I'm, I'm putting Joseph kind of on the spot, and he's going to give us just a few stats as we... Let's be honest. Um, their food's not that good. This food? No. This food was good. The oh, lodge. this food. The lodge is good. It, it would have okay. It would have been okay. It's okay. The coffee yeah. So, what do we what do we do this weekend? So, over the period of two days, we hiked a total of 19.1 miles. We had a total elevation of climbed 19,419 feet. Wow. We had an average pace of 30 minutes a mile. And. <laughs> What's awkward about 30 no. minutes a mile? Just because you can do <laughs> that's a, that's four a, miles in an hour, Mr. Training for it's leisurely. It's, What's the thing called in April that fun, you're going to do? Uh, big turtle. Okay. Ultra marathon. Well, you got to do four miles an hour to be able to get that thing done in the time frame, right? Yeah. Okay. But Tim is being a, a trooper, and he's going slow for for me. Joseph can keep up with Tim, so it's just all about. Yeah, yeah doing this for me. It's all about me. It's all about me. So, any other stats we want to throw in there? We just that we, we approximately burned over 7,300 
calories. Some more than others. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> so me and Tim had the uh, sausage, egg, and cheese on a croissant. And you can see over here, Joseph, uh, he just went for broke. An omelet. Joseph, are you willing to say? 165 and right. 70. What? Are you so, kidding me? Yeah. I, I, I assume that. Right. So he's burning a whole lot less calories than we are. We burn, we must have burned like 10,000 calories. Yeah. Um, we're we're a lot anyway, there's a waffle here and an omelet. No, it's not. And it was good, wasn't it? It's okay. empty. They're empty now. <laughs> so there's the stats and there's the. Uh, the banter that we're known for on our on our section hikes <laughs> that sometimes get awkward, don't they? I'm replenishing my calories. Okay, you do that. <laughs>